Welcome to my 100K Product Creation Masterclass. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, if you have a desire to create a profitable business based on sharing information with other people, then you're in the right place. Today, I am sharing three easy steps to help you create your 100K digital information product in three hours or less. So let's start by addressing the question, what are digital products? Just in case you don't know, a digital product is a product that you can deliver online and they are downloadable files such as PDFs, MP3s, videos, apps and documents. And they can also include access to online spaces such as forums, groups and communities. So what are the benefits of digital products? I personally absolutely adore digital products and I just can't imagine a business model based on anything else. So here are some of the benefits. There is no limit to the number of products that you can sell. You are not maxed out with your time or your ability to deliver the product. You create it once and then you can sell it to an unlimited number of people, which is fantastic for creating as much revenue as you want. You also don't have to buy in stock. You don't have to worry about packaging or shipping or any of the costs associated with standard businesses. You can create digital products without spending any money. And this is what I have done time and time again and what I'm going to teach you how to do today, which is such a fantastic business model because who would have ever thought years ago that you could create a business without investing any money at all. It was completely unheard of, but now it's possible thanks to the internet and thanks to all the free tools that are available to help us do this. So there's actually, there's no barrier whatsoever to stopping you from creating your digital products because it doesn't cost you any money. Digital products also have other benefits. They are really fast to create. And I'm going to show you how to create one in less than three hours. And it can be a lot shorter than this. They are the fastest product that I've ever come across to create. There's no going back and forwards with manufacturers or trying to get things exactly right. You can create a first version of your product and get it out for sale immediately and then tweak it on a regular basis once you get feedback from students. You can also create passive income, which means you can get paid on autopilot while you're not working. So while you're sleeping, while you're on vacation, while you're having fun with your family, eating your dinner, you can be getting paid and there's nothing more exciting than keep on seeing those sales notifications come in while you're not actually at work. And it doesn't mean to say that you don't do any work. This is a misconception about passive income. Some types of passive income, you don't do any work like stocks and shares but you have to invest a lot of money to basically, you know, take no action whatsoever. When it comes to a business, you absolutely have to take action. You're not going to start a business based on taking no action whatsoever. So I want to clear up that misconception straight away. We do have to take action, but the passive income is generated while we're not working and we can scale it up. So you can choose your working hours, stick to your working hours, and then keep on scaling up your revenue without increasing your hours, which is extremely powerful. And it's something that most people really desire. And this is what I'm going to share with you today, how to get started on this path. So have you ever been told that you have to create a signature course to sell digital products? So a lot of experts out there will tell you that you have to create a big signature course to start making money online. And the reality is that that is not actually the best way to get started. Signature courses take far too long to create and people are too daunted by the prospect of them, which is why products never get finished or they never make it to market. Have you got an idea for a course and you've 
never finished it and you've never started to sell it. And I'm going to show you today how creating a smaller information product, a smaller digital product is the best way to get started and how you can finish your first info product in less than three hours. You don't have to worry about creating a massive signature course. That's not the best way to get started with your first profitable business. So why you are in the right place. I use product creation methods that have been proven to work by focusing on cutting out the fluff in products and getting customers results very quickly. And yes, I am going to be sharing an offer at the end of this masterclass because I am running a business and this is what businesses do. Yes, they give away free information, but they also have to make money. But I am going to give you so much value in this masterclass that you are going to be so glad that you stuck around. You are going to want to take notes so that you don't miss anything because what I'm sharing today is gold. This is not some webinar that's just sharing my story for half an hour and then talking about some objections and misconceptions and things like that. I'm actually going to tell you exactly what to do so you're not going to want to miss this. And if you stay until the end, I'm sharing a gift with you so that you won't want to miss that, which will help you create your 100K digital info product and you can't get this anywhere else. So make sure you stick around until the end. So who is this masterclass for? This product creation masterclass is perfectly designed for consultants who would love to create a package to walk their clients through. It's great for coaches who would love to transition towards offering automated programs in replacement or alongside their one-to-one -one coaching sessions. It's great for content creators who would love to get paid for the content that they create. It's perfect for authors who would like to supplement their earnings from books by creating additional resources or who would prefer to get paid more by offering digital products that command higher price points. It's great for teachers who would love to reach more people and make more money with their teaching. It's great for speakers who would love to create video courses to share online and maximize the number of people that they can reach without having to travel. It's perfect for spiritually minded online entrepreneurs who are open-minded to doing things in an ethical and non-sleazy way because they will align with my teaching methods. It's great for creators who have ideas for turning their dreams into digital products and getting rewarded for it. It's great for bloggers who would love to start making money from their blogs. It's great for YouTubers who are ready to start being rewarded for their information. It's perfect for podcasters who are ready to start sponsoring their own podcasts with lucrative personal ads for their own products. It's great for influencers who are ready to sell their own products and make a lot more money than selling other people's products. It's perfect for freelancers who are ready to turn their services into an automated product and stop trading their time for money. It's also great for agency owners because you might need to educate your clients and you're tired of repeating yourself over and over again and you can sell some information to your customers or include it as part of a package. It's great for people who sell physical products on maybe Amazon, eBay, do drop shipping. These business owners who sell physical products who can either they make their physical products stand out by combining them with digital products or who want to transition away from the hassle of selling physical products. And this is something that I've done myself. I've sold physical products and when you bundle a physical product alongside a digital product, this is a way to completely make your offer stand out and be completely unique and sell above and beyond everybody else's product out there. So very briefly, just two minutes, I want to share who I am. So I first started my first online business after becoming a full-time mum, giving up my job as a teacher. And I started exactly where everyone else starts, which is at zero. I was making no money because I had nothing to sell. And when I launched my first digital product, which was a seven day detox with just a simple PDF, it was really popular straight away. And it is still my most popular product with that brand to date. And my business jumped up to six figures based on the back of this one 
product and I've since sold hundreds of digital info products in numerous different niches so I have tried it all and I have made multiple six figures selling low cost info products all under a hundred dollars and mostly priced under $30. So yes, it is possible to make a lot of money if you sell low ticket items. So what are we going to cover today? Secret number one, pick your perfect product. How to choose the type of product to create first that is exactly right for your personality and your audience and it takes less than three hours to create your entire product. Secret number two, profitable product topic selector. Discover how to choose a topic that you are passionate about and frame it in such a way that it solves your customers painful problems and gets them begging you to take their money. Secret number three, product creation in a flash. How to create a professional looking product that helps people get results using free tools in less than three hours. So here is secret number one, picking your perfect product. So the number one mistake that people make when it comes to creating products is to not take a few minutes just to weigh up the options before deciding which product to create first. And there are two products that most people end up creating first when they start their business, but both of these products are not the best product to get started with. So I just want to share these products to avoid with you. So product mistake number one is creating an ebook. A lot of people decide to write an ebook. Now, an ebook is just a digital version of a book, and a book is typically like uh, 200, 300 pages long, really long, full of information, full of text, and lots of people decide that they are going to write a book and they are just going to deliver it digitally um, in the form of a PDF. And I just wanted to explain what I meant by an ebook so that you don't get the wrong idea. I'm not talking about all PDFs, I'm just talking about books which are hundreds of pages long and full of information. And for some reason, a lot of people decide that this is the best product to start with just because it's the first one that pops into their mind. But unfortunately, this is the worst type of digital product that you can create because it is the most time consuming for you to create. So you are most likely to either not even start it because it feels too daunting or you're not going to finish your book. So you'll never get your business off the ground because you haven't even got your first product finished. And in addition to that, if you do end up writing your whole book, you know, congratulations to you. That's a big undertaking, but unfortunately it's the not the best product to sell. It is the least likely product that your customers actually want to buy because it's the most time consuming for your customer to finish. So they're probably not going to finish your book and they might not even start reading it because it feels too daunting to read a book. And who wants to read a 200 to 300 page book on a PDF? Not many people. Most people would rather read a, either a paperback or a Kindle version of a book that they can buy on Amazon. Um, they probably don't want to even start this daunting task of reading your really long PDF. So they're probably not going to start it or finish it and therefore they're unlikely to get any results. And that means you're not going to get any testimonials, any reviews. And as a result, you're probably going to lose confidence in your product because you haven't had any feedback at all. You haven't had any good feedback and nobody's actually got results from it. So that's another reason not to do it. And another reason not to uh, write a book is that it is the lowest priced product of all digital products. So it's the least profitable because people know that on Amazon, they can get a book for, you know, 10 pounds, $12, whatever it, currency it is. And they're not going to want to be paying $20, $30 for a PDF version, which is harder to read on your website. And it is one of the least popular products because customers see reading a book as hard work and you don't want to make consuming your product hard work. You want to make it easy. So I hope I've convinced you not to write a book as your first digital product. 
Product mistake number two, creating a signature course. Now I'm all for signature courses. I have lots of them myself, but I'm just talking about the first product do, that you create and especially before you've got an audience. This is a mistake to create a signature course to start with as the very first product. And a lot of gurus are persuading people to create signature courses as their first product. And this isn't the best type of digital product to create because it's also very time consuming for you to create. So you are most likely to either not even start or again, you're not probably not going to finish your course because it just takes too long and you're not getting any rewards in the process. And it is also the most time consuming for your customer to finish. So they are not as likely to get results, which probably will result in you not getting that many testimonials, which again will cause you to lose confidence in your product. And also it is the highest priced product of all digital products. So although it is the most profitable, and that's why a lot of um, online entrepreneurs want to create courses because they can generate a lot of money from them. Signature courses are the hardest to sell because they are priced so highly and a lot of effort has to go into creating sales and marketing campaigns to sell a signature course. It's not something that people are just going to buy based on a whim just because they've, they've seen it. They are going to have to think about it, they might have to save up for it. So it's something that you probably only want to sell once you've got an audience or once you've built up trust with people first with a lower ticket priced product. And a signature course is also one of the least popular products because most customers don't have the funds required to purchase the course or they're just not willing to make that kind of investment. Therefore, you will convert a much smaller percentage of your audience into buyers if you only offer a signature course for sale. Now, I'm not saying don't do them. They are great, but just don't do them first. So let's talk about pre-selling now. So um, a lot of experts understand that most business owners are taking a big risk by creating a big signature course without knowing if it's going to sell first. So what they tell you to do is to pre-sell your course before you create it. Now, maybe you might have heard this advice before. I certainly have heard it over and over and over again. In fact, I'd say pretty much everybody that I listen to talking about courses tells me to pre-sell a course, first of all, to test it, to see if anyone will buy it. And when they do buy, you can create your course live at the same time as they're going through it. Now, pre-selling does sound like a great idea in practice because who wouldn't want to get paid before you've actually done the hard work? But in reality, it just doesn't work for most new business owners. So a lot of people who are telling you to pre-sell their courses might have gotten good results themselves from pre-selling their courses, but that's probably because they've got a massive audience already. And if you are starting out with your first product or you, you don't have a large audience yet, it's probably not a great idea to start off with pre-selling because you either need a large audience to offer the product to or you have to spend money on paid ads to find people to buy your product. And it is still the highest priced product of all of the digital products. And with the added disadvantage of your course not being finished, and it's also not been proven because nobody's gone through it, nobody's got testimonials, it's less likely the people who don't know you will not buy a concept. So really they're just buying a concept that you've just plucked out of thin air. You just thought, oh, I know, here's an idea. Um, please pay me a thousand dollars for my concept. So if you think about it, would you pay for somebody else's concept if you didn't really, really trust them? And maybe you'd already bought products of theirs before, or maybe you'd been following their, their free content for a while and you really trusted them. You're probably not going to buy it if it's a brand new business owner. And here's another problem with pre-selling. Most new business owners don't have the confidence to pre-sell something that hasn't been proven to work and therefore will never consider pre-selling as an option. You can tell somebody to pre-sell until you're blue in the face, 
But if they just don't have the confidence to do it, they're just not going to do it. And that's just not going to work for them. I personally would not pre-sell something that I hadn't tested. I just wouldn't feel right doing that. And if you don't get enough pre-order sales, you will either have to refund the sales that you did make and therefore you will lose money and you might lose all the money that you paid for advertising or you'll have to commit to teaching a course live to a very small group of students, which still hasn't proven your concept because you didn't get that many people in. So would you launch that course again, knowing that it wasn't actually all that popular the first time around? So has that really proven anything if you just got a very small group of students? And are you really going to commit to teaching this course live for months and months and months? just for a very, very tiny group of students. In my mind, that doesn't make any sense. And also without business experience selling products, trying to sell a big course, trying to pre-sell a big course as your very first product is more likely to end up with you getting frustrated and giving up on your whole business. And we don't want that to happen. We want to start with something easy. So let's move on to secret number one, pick your perfect product. So what types of products are the best digital info products to start with? And I am going to walk you through the 10 types of digital products that I do recommend starting with and will take you less than three hours to create them. And I'm also going to be sharing examples of each of them. So you get an idea of how it would work for you. So let me ask you a question. Are you willing to invest just three hours of your life to create a product, a full product, a finished product that might end up making you six or seven figures in revenue. And I created my first digital product in just a few hours and I sold thousands of copies straight away. I then went on to tweak it, improve it and add bonuses to it over time. And after it was already selling and based on the feedback I got from my students and it went on to generate multiple six figures just from that one low priced info product that just took me a few hours to make. So if somebody tells you it's not possible to make a lot of money from something that's very, very quick to create, then here is the proof that it is possible. So here are the 10 most profitable types of digital products. Number one, a video mini course. So instead of creating a signature course, which takes you months and months to finish it, why not create a mini course, which only takes you a very short period of time to create it. And here is an example. I have got a mini course called Manifest Your Dream Launch. Number two, an audio mini course, which is very similar to a video mini course, but you are not creating videos, you're just creating audio files. So for example, you could have an audio course which has 90 days of stress-free living prompts in it. How about number three? You could create templates, swipe files and scripts. You could create a bundle of resources for people. And here is an example of one of my own products, my 80 Green Thickies recipe book. Yes, a recipe book is just a collection of templates because a recipe is just a template. It's like a swipe file. You swipe that recipe and you create, you recreate it in your own kitchen. So although it's called a book, I call it a book. It's not one of these like information books that tells you all the theory about why spinach is so good for your health and all that kind of thing. It's not about the theory. It's not about providing information. It's about providing something that people can use straight away. They swipe those recipes, they create, they create the recipe straight away and they get the results straight away. And it was very, very quick for me to create this book because I already had all the recipes and I literally just had to copy and paste them into a book and it was done. It was a very, very quick project for me to do. Number four, how about creating plans? or blueprints, or processes, or guides, or playbooks, or toolkits. These are all similar things I've grouped together. And here are two examples for you. My Green Thickies 7 Day Detox, which was my 
first product and my most popular product and the one that's generated me multiple six figures in revenue. And this is an example of a process. And yes, it's a detox, it's called a detox, but it's also a process. It's a meal plan. It tells you what to eat on Monday, what to eat on Tuesday, what to eat on Wednesday. I decided what my process was. I remembered my own process. I put it into a document and then I'm giving it to other people to follow. So it's similar to the recipe book, but it's not just like, here's all the recipes, choose whatever you want. It is very prescriptive. It's like, do this here, next do this, next do this. And this is what a guide teaches you how to do, how to take one step after another. Another example of this is my business manifestation toolkit, which is a collection of all of the manifestation tools that I use for my business. It's like my morning routines, my evening routines, my monthly routines, and that kind of thing, all in an easy to use toolkit explained with all of the things that they can swipe and people can use my templates and they can follow my processes in there. Number five, how about creating a planner or a journal or a workbook? This is some kind of fill in the blanks product. And an example of this is my stamp daily journal where I've literally just got journal prompts and then I've got a section where people fill in the blanks and they write the answers to those journal questions underneath. So this helps people to think about the answers to questions that will help them to get results. Number six, a membership or a community, like for example, my business manifestation membership, where people join an area online and they get access to my support, other entrepreneurs and other resources along the way. Number seven, workshops, web classes and training. An example of this is my time expander training. And another good example is the training that uh, you are going through right now, my 100K product creation masterclass. This is a workshop. This is a masterclass. This is a web class. This is a training. It is a video training where everything, all of the information is in one place and I've just pressed record and I'm going through all of the information in one go. And it's a, a video and this can either be live or it can be pre-recorded. And in this example, this is pre-recorded, but you can do it live and then record it and sell the recording. So this is an example of a workshop that is going to be inside my product, my dream business product program. It is going to be for my students who buy the product. And yes, I'm letting you view this masterclass free at the moment, but it's for a limited time only because this is actually paid content that I'm selling as a bonus as part of my program. Number eight, how about creating a challenge or a boot camp? And an example of this is my seven day 7k challenge to manifest business success. And this is where you can walk people through a series of short habits that they can take to get results. And you you can either engage with them live or it can be something that is automated and it can be delivered online. It can be delivered via email. There's lots of different ways that you can deliver this. Number nine, how about creating some audios? These could be like podcasts that you don't give away to anyone. You just sell the podcast. It could be meditations. It could be interviews. And an example of this is my brilliant business brain stamps, which is a collection of my I am affirmation recordings that help you to rewire your brain for success. And how about number 10, a library of stock media, such as images, videos, music that you can give to people that they can use as part of their own products or their own resources. An example of this is 300 plus meditation background tracks library. So now let's look at each of these 10 product types in more detail. And I'm going to share with you 
the price point that I recommend you sell these products at. I'm going to let you know if this is suitable for you so that this is a product that suits your personality and I'm also going to be sharing whether or not this is suitable for your audience so that you can pick a type of product that is specifically suitable for you and not just something that you have been convinced because somebody it worked for somebody else because you might be thinking just because I shared an example of a seven day detox and a recipe book you might be thinking mm, could I create my own recipe book now but that's not necessarily right for you so you need to choose something that's right for you you and your personality so let's go through this and you can also see how profitable these are going to be and you can decide how much profit you want to make straight away with these lower priced products. So the first one is the video mini course. Now the price point of this product I recommend you can charge anywhere from $7 up to $97 and it depends on the range is because it depends on the niche that you're in. If you are in a business niche, B2B niche, then you can charge more at the higher end because business owners are used to paying a lot more money. But if you are, say, in the health niche or the happiness niche or the relationships niche or, or that kind of thing, then I recommend you start off with the lower price point to start with because people are not used to paying more money in this niche for a low ticket priced product. And regardless of the niche, I recommend you do start pricing it at the lower end to start with, see how it sells and then gradually raise the price and then see what your market is willing to pay. So the video mini course, this is suitable for you if you like to teach a process and you don't mind either being on camera or doing voiceovers. Just because it's a video course doesn't mean to say that you have to be on the video, but your voice probably does have to be on the video. Um, if you created slides like I'm doing right now, you, you can choose to put yourself in a little video at the bottom, just like I'm doing right now, or you can choose to not have that there at all and just not appear on the camera. So you don't have to be on the camera, but your voice does have to be on the camera. So this is suitable for your audience if they need to know the theory behind a topic to implement it. So if you have something that you need to teach. Now let's move on to audio mini courses. So the price point of these is anywhere between $7 and $67, not quite as high as a video course. Videos tend to be much more profitable than audio. People prefer videos than audio. This is suitable for you if you like to share wisdom and you are able to speak clearly. So if you are able to speak in a way that people can understand you and they can follow your instructions, then it's fine for you to create an audio course or a video course. This is suitable for your audience if they need to absorb the information on the go and they don't necessarily need to see the information presented to them on the screen as they go along. So if it's mainly information based, something that they can think about in the head and they don't need to see the visuals. What I'm showing you right now on the screen, you might be listening to this on the audio version and you won't be able to see this on the screen, which is why I have done a video presentation, but it's not the end of the world if you can't see this on the screen because I am describing everything that you can see on the screen right now. So next product is templates, swipe files and scripts. Now the price point for these is anywhere between $27 and $97. And this is suitable for you if you love to create helpful resources or if you've got a team who creates helpful resources and you like to direct your team to do that. And this is suitable for your audience if they need the exact templates to help them solve problems quickly. Now let's move on to plans, blueprints, processes, guides, playbooks, and toolkits. Now the price point for these is similar, $27 to $97, because these are very useful and people can see the value in them straight away. And this is suitable for you if you tend to be an organized person and you've got your own processes that get proven results. And it's suitable for your audience if they need a process to follow to get the same results that you've got or that you've helped clients to get. The next type of product is a planner. 
journal, workbook, a fill in the blanks type product. And you can charge anywhere between $7 and $67 for this. And this is suitable for you if you are good at coaching and prompting people to think outside the box to get results. And this is good for your audience if they prefer to tap into their own wisdom to draw out what's right for them. Next type of product is memberships or communities. And for these, a lot of people do charge a recurring amount of money per month, but you can also just charge a fixed amount. And it's harder to sell a monthly recurring membership to people than just a fixed membership that you just charge one fixed fee for. So I'm just talking about the fixed fee at the moment because we are making this easy for us to sell and get started and encourage people to buy. So the price point of the fixed membership product is $27 to $97. And this is suitable for you if you really like bringing people together to create a movement. And this is suitable for your audience if they like to connect with other people or there is a movement that they want to get behind. The next type of product is workshops, web classes or training. Price point of these is anywhere between $7 and $97. And this is suitable for you if you can get fast results quickly by teaching. And it's suitable for your audience if they have a spare one to two hours and they want fast results. Another type of product is a challenge or a boot camp, and you can charge anywhere between $27 and $97 for this. And this is suitable for you if you like to create habits that get results and you've got a lot of really good habits in your life that have helped you to get results and stay at that level. And it's suitable for your audience if they love to be encouraged to take on new habits and they just like to be spoon fed a little new habit, one new habit every single day. Next product is audios, podcasts, meditations, interviews, and the price point of these is $27 to $97. And this is suitable for you if you have a lot of information resources to share, or if you love to create information resources. And it's suitable for your audience if they love to consume helpful content regularly. The last type of product is the library of stock media, the images, videos, and music. And you can charge again, $27 to $97 for these. And this is suitable for you if you have a lot of resources to share. And it's suitable for your audience if they need a lot of resources. Say for example, they need a lot of music. They need a lot of images and they don't mind paying one fixed fee for your big, bundle of images. So I really hope that that's given you some really good ideas on the types of digital products that you could create to get started with. Is your brain whirling with new ideas right now that you just can't wait to get started with? So I'm going to help you a little bit more now and we're going to move on to secret number two, which is the profitable product topic selector. And you are going to discover how to choose a topic that you are passionate about and frame it in such a way that it solves your customers painful problems and they're really going to want to throw their money at you. So let's start with looking at the topic of your product. So choosing your profitable product topic selector. So first of all, we need to narrow this down. So it's good if you get a pen and paper out and then you can make notes on this section. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions and I want to you to answer them. And I'm also going to give you some examples of my own for my own products. First of all, I'm going to get, go through an example from a health niche. And then secondly, I'm going to go through an example from a wealth niche. So the first question is, what is your broad topic? Now this has to fit into one of three categories. It either has to be health, wealth, or happiness. And almost all products will fit into one of these. So see if you can find which, think about it and, and decide which broad topic you want to help somebody with. Is it going to be the health, wealth, or happiness? And for me, it is health. Next question, what good habits do you have that other people wish they had? One of my good habits is making healthy food every day. 
Next question, what resources did you use to create these habits? And the resources or the tools that I used were recipes. Next question, what are you good at? Now I am good at losing weight. I'm good at preparing healthy food. Next question, what are you passionate about? Now I am passionate about healthy food. Next question, what big measurable results and transformations have you achieved yourself? Now I personally have lost 56 pounds. Next question, what tool did you use to get these results? Now the tools that I used to get these results were my green thickies recipes. Next question, how long did your transformation take? My transformation took three months. Next question, what measurable results did you get in a small amount of time? So for this, just take your big result and just divide it into a smaller chunk of time. Say for example, like one week or one month, what results did you get in that smaller period of time? So for me, as soon as I started drinking my green thicky recipes, I lost seven pounds in seven days. I got my energy back and my skin cleared up straight away. And how did you get this smaller result? I drank green thickies for seven days for breakfast and lunch and then had a healthy dinner, a detox dinner. Next question, how could you get your customers a smaller or a bite-sized result in less time? So this led me on to helping my customers to lose seven pounds with a seven day detox or a seven day meal plan, which is what I created to start with. So I hope you can see there that we've looked at the big transformation that you got. And my big transformation was that I lost a lot of weight, 56 pounds, but that is something that's more suitable for a, a signature course or a membership or something that, that costs a lot more money to, um, to keep people engaged over a period of time because losing weight, losing that amount of weight takes a long time, but losing just seven pounds, is something that people can do very, very quickly and they can do it within the space of a week. So that is more suitable for creating a lower, a lower ticket info product to start with, which is going to be an easier sell because people were asking me for this. My audience were asking me, what did you eat? And I decided that instead of creating 12 months of meal plans, I was going to start by creating seven days of meal plans. It was easier for me and it was easier for them. And I could test the concept. So instead of pre-selling a massive course, I tested the concept by actually just creating the product that didn't take me very long to create. So I hope you can see that instead of, you know, testing the concept by pre-selling something really massive, you can test the concept by actually creating something, have people pay for it and not have to worry about selling something that you haven't even created yet, because that, that can be very, very stressful. I certainly would find that a, a lot of pressure and I wouldn't like the feeling of that whatsoever, but I prefer to test the concept by creating something small. And if they like that, then you can build on that in time. So that's what I did with my Green Thickies business. I started with something small and then I led up to creating a membership, which was 12 months worth of meal plans, which was a big investment of my time and money to create that. But I'd proven the concept because people had been getting results in seven days and then they wanted more. So that's how you prove the concept of your product. So now let's quickly look at another example in the wealth field. So what is your broad topic? Wealth. What good habits do you have that other people wish they had? My good habits are that I'm very consistent with creating products, creating marketing and manifesting results. What resources did you use to create these habits? I use my three G goals that keep me on track. What are you good at? I'm really good at creating resources to help business owners to make more revenue. What are you passionate about? I'm really passionate about online businesses and helping people to get results in their businesses. What big measurable results and transformations have you achieved yourself? I have made multiple six figures selling information products. What tool did you use to get these results? I used the tool of selling low priced online digital information products. And how long did your transformation take? 
six months. What measurable result did you get in a smaller amount of time? I created my six figure product in three hours and I started selling it within 30 days. And how did you get this smaller result? I created a product very quickly and got it out for sale without spending any money. How could you get your customers a smaller or a bite-sized result in less time? I could create a 100K product creation masterclass that they can go through very quickly and they can see exactly how to choose their profitable product and get started with low ticket digital products straight away. So this is the exact process that I walk my clients through when it comes to deciding exactly what topic to create for their profitable low ticket product. So I hope that's really helped you to get some ideas for what you could create yourself. So we're looking for tangible, measurable results. Just remember that that's very important when it comes to creating products. So now let's look at solving your customers' problems. So we have to create products that actually solve problems, otherwise they're not going to sell. So you might think, well, I'm really good at knitting and I'm going to create like a mini course on knitting, but that's not solving a problem. We need to actually solve people's problems. So we need to look at what problems they actually have. Do they have a problem with knitting or is there something specific that they want to create in a very short space of time? Maybe they want to create a scarf for a birthday that's coming up or some baby socks or something. So if you solve the problem of how do I create, um, how do I learn how to knit baby socks in 30 days or less, then that is solving the problem that they have. So you have to get specific and you have to talk about measurable results. And I am going to walk you through some examples of how to do this because this is something that most people end up making the mistake on when it comes to choosing the topic of their product. And it's just not going to sell if you don't get this right. So this is why I want to really focus on this to make sure you get it right. So let's look at some examples. So I'm going to walk you through the customer's problem and we're going to look at what do the customers actually want. Then we're going to look at what the customers actually need. And this is going to be different because what people want is completely different to what they need. And another big mistake that I see people making is they create products based on what people need and they sell products based on what people need and nobody buys them because you're not talking about what they want. You need to be focused on selling what they want and giving them what they want and what they need. So that's going to help us come up with the focus for our product. So let me walk you through some examples and you can see what I mean. So let's look at some typical, very generalized examples and then we'll get a bit more specific after that. So. First problem uh, that a lot of people struggle with in the world, very common problem, they are overweight. They're carrying too much excess weight on their body. What do the customers want? Obviously they want to lose weight and this fits into the broad niche of health, but what do they actually need? Maybe they don't need to lose weight but in order to lose weight, they need to do something else. They need to consistently eat a healthier diet. And the focus for your product is has to be based on what the customers want. So this leads me to my Green Thickies example again. A lot of people really wanted to lose weight, but I knew that what they needed was to be healthier. I wanted people to improve their health so they could feel more energetic, they could lead a longer, healthier lifestyle. And losing weight was just a side bonus when it came to the bigger bonus of feeling amazing and just having all this extra energy. So to me, I felt like they just needed to be healthier. But when I was putting out blog posts all about being healthier, nobody was interested because what people wanted was losing weight. I had to speak to the weight loss. So the focus for my product had to be on the weight loss. It couldn't be on 
get healthy with green thickies. It had to be on lose weight with green thickies. And I knew that by drinking green thickies, they would get healthy in the process. So you sell them what they want, you give them what they need. So my focus for my product is lose seven pounds in seven days. That's the concept of my product, what I'm helping people do, to do. I'm giving people what they want. So that's the focus, give people what they want. So let's look at the next example. Customer's problem, they are broke. They have no money. So what do they want? Obviously they want more money and this fits into the wealth niche. And if, you, if you're selling B2B, if you are selling to other business owners, then it's always in the wealth niche because businesses are all about making money. So people want more money, but what do they actually need? They need to offer something that somebody wants to buy. So that's what we create for them. We teach them how to offer something that somebody wants to buy, but we sell them how to make money. And you can roll both of these in together because people need a bit more information. They don't just want to know, I'm going to tell you how to make money. You need, you do need to give people more specifics because it sounds a bit scammy if you just say, um, here's how to make more money without telling people a little bit about how they're going to do it. So how I like to do it is I like to put the results of what they want in with the description of what they're going to get. So for example, the focus of my product for this product that I am creating right now is create a 100K product in three hours. So I've rolled in the what you want and the what you need into one sentence because 100K is the money that they're going to make and that's what they want. But what they need is to create a product. And I think business owners are savvy enough to know that you need to focus on what you need as well as what you want. Like you can't just say, I want to make money, help me to set up a business and I'm not going to do any work. I think most people know that if you set up a business, you have to give other people what they want. So therefore you have to sell something. So it stands to reason that you have to create something to sell. Lots of people do want get rich quick schemes these days, but, um, those are not the kind of people that I would like to work with and therefore I would like to work with people who have a bit more sense and they know that to do things ethically you have to there has to be give and take there has to be an equal exchange of value you get money by people getting what they want so you have to create a product and then you get the money so it rolls both of it in together so I hope you can see how that's important there let's look at another example the customer's problem is they are unhappy at work. And what do they want? They want a new job that fits into the happiness niche. But what do they actually need? To get a new job, they might need better skills at application writing or better skills at interviewing. So the focus of your product could be get your dream job in 30 days. And for this example, I have not put in what they need, but you could put in what they need as well. So that might be enough. Or you could say, get your dream job by improving your interview skills in 30 days. So you could do both. And this is something that you have to test out yourself to see how it's going to land with your own audience. Sometimes you, you can focus on what they want. And sometimes you have to focus on what they want and what they need when you're describing your product to them. I mean, you're obviously in your in your long form sales pages, you are going to be describing how you get people results. But this is just like a quick snapshot of what you do, which is the focus for your product. Let's look at another example. They are lonely. That's the customer's problem. They're lonely. And what do they want? They want a new relationship and that fits into the happiness niche. But what do they actually need? There could be many things you need, but that depends on what you want to sell. So you could um, say that they need to love themselves first and then they can attract their soulmate. Once they love themselves, they attract more love to themselves. So the focus of your product could be attract your soulmate in 10 days. And that speaks very clearly to the kind of product that it is, that it is because you're giving people what they want, which is a soulmate, and you use the word attract, which 
is talking about more kind of mindset manifestation type topics. So it's not very practical. It's not like, you know, dating website strategy to get your soulmate in 10 days, which would be much more strategic and focused on things they actually do rather than the things that they're actually thinking. So you just want to come up with a very short concept of the focus of your product. And what about another example? Your customer's problem is their blog posts look really horrible. They look really cheap and nasty and they just look, they don't look professional at all. So what do they want? What people want is they want their blog posts to look nice, but um, more broadly speaking, they want their blog posts to attract more customers and therefore they want to make more money. So it fits into the wealth niche. But what do they need? They might need a range of professional stock images that they can use for all of their blog posts. And the focus of your product could be something like immediately attract new customers to your blog posts with beautiful stock images. Next example, your customer's problem is their skin is blemished. So what do they want? They want clear skin. But why do they want clear skin? Let's look a bit deeper. They might want clear skin because they want to attract a new relationship, which fits into the happiness niche. Or perhaps they just want to know that they're healthy because they know that if if their skin is blemished, then it's a sign that they're not healthy on the inside. So that could be on in the health niche. So you have to decide on what is going to be the focus for the focus on your product. So what do they actually need? They need to start making their own healthy homemade beauty products. And what is the focus for your product? It could be to clear up your skin in three days and feel more attractive by using homemade beauty products. So we've put in the, both of the, what they want and also what they need in that description as well because sometimes you just feel like you need to give people a bit more information. And the last example here is your customer's problem is they don't have time to get to the spa after having kids. So what do they want? They want to relax and be pampered and that fits into the happiness niche and also the health niche. But what do they need? They need to create spa days at home with their friends. So the focus of your product could be plan your own relaxing at-home spa party in 30 minutes. So I really hope that's helped you to get good examples on how you can really drill down the focus for your product, the topic for your product. We have to focus on both what they want and also what they need, but focus more specifically on what they actually want. So let's move on to secret number three product creation in a flash. How to create professional looking products that help people get results using free tools in less than three hours. So I am going to share all of the types of digital products with you. I'm going to tell you how long each of them take to create and I'm going to tell you how to create them very briefly and what tools to use. And these are all going to be free tools that I share with you. So get ready for this. So first type of product is a video mini course and that can take around three hours to create. So how do we create it? So what I suggest you do is start by creating around 10 short lessons and each of them need to be 10 minutes long, around 10 minutes long, give or take. Then create some slideshows, add your bullet points and then record a video of your screen while you explain each point as you go through each slide. And the free tools that you can use for this are Google Slides and Screencast-O-Matic that helps you to record your screen. And that's exactly what I am using right now. These two tools are what I'm actually using right now. So I use these free tools myself and they're very professional and they work very, very well. You can create them exactly as you want. Next type of product, audio mini course. This will take you less time to create because you don't need to create any visuals. You don't need to create any slides. So this will probably take you around two hours. So what I suggest you do is record around 10 short lessons, less than 10 minutes long 
where you talk into your microphone and just simply record an mp3 file and the tool that I recommend for this is a free tool called Audacity which is what I use to create my podcasts. Next type of tool is the template swipe files and scripts and the time to create is ranging from five minutes if you have already got these created if you've got them saved somewhere and three hours if you don't. And what I suggest you do is create five to 20 templates and offer them as a bundle and add them into a folder. And you can use Google Docs to create the templates and the swipe files and the scripts. You can just type them out in Google Docs and then, or you can use Google Sheets if you've got more of a numbers based template, or you can use Google Slides if you want to display it in a different type of way. And then you can just add all those files into either a Dropbox folder or a Google Drive folder, which are all free tools. Next type of product is plans, blueprints, processes, guides, playbooks, and toolkits. And the time to create these is between five minutes and three hours, depending on if you've already got them created. So how to create these is you create a PDF document laying out your process with text and images going down the page. Quite similar to what I'm doing now. I've got a table and I've got information on the table and I'm explaining how to use the information in the table but you can instead of recording it on a video you would just have this in a document and the tool to use for this is google docs next type of product is a planner journal workbook or fill in the blanks type template and the time to create this can be very quick it can only take you around about one hour to create this and how to create this is you can create an editable document or a printable PDF. And I recommend you use Google Docs for this because you can share a view only file that they can then make a copy of and edit it. So you can create an editable file for free using Google Docs. Next type of product is memberships or communities. And these can take round about two hours to create one to two hours. So how to create it is you create a group and you then just simply invite people to it. You can also upload resources such as files, images, videos, and posts into the group if needed. And I recommend you use Facebook groups for this. Another type of product that you can create is your workshops, web classes, and training, which is what I'm creating right now. And the time to create this is round about three hours. I created I planned out my slides yesterday in a couple of hours and then it's going to take me around about one hour or more to record this today. How to create this is you create a one to two hour training based on a slideshow. You record your screen as you go through each slide and you use Google Slides to create your template and then you use screencast o -Matic, which you can get started with for free. A type of product that you can create is a challenge or a boot camp, and it will probably take you around about three hours. And I've also created this this week as well. I created a challenge myself and how to create this is you create some lessons, which are either text or video or images that walk people through a series of small daily steps or habits. And the tools that you can use to deliver this is either Facebook groups or email. And I've used both. The next type of product is audios, podcasts, meditations, interviews, and the time to create is five minutes to three hours, depending on whether or not you've already created these. And how to create these is you just simply add all of your resources to a folder. So first of all, you can record them using Audacity as in with the audio course previously and then you simply put it into a folder in Dropbox or Google Drive. Next type of product is a library of stock media images, videos, music and if you've already got these created this will just take you five minutes and I just recommend you put them all into a folder in a Dropbox or Google Drive and you get a link and then you can just give that link to people when they buy your bundle of stock media. So as you can see, there are so many options and you can create these very, very quickly. I have created all of these in the past and they all work very, very well. 
So how to create professional looking products. Here are some tips to make your products look professional. I recommend you choose one to three colors. Don't go crazy with your colors. Stick to your brand colors. Choose two, three max different fonts. So you don't go crazy with your fonts either. You create something that's on brand for you. Create a template for your slides and your documents so that every page looks consistent. So as you can see, I've created a template for my slides. I've got a black box at the top with white writing, my little logo, and then I've got images in different boxes all around the screen. And then you just simply duplicate that page and then fill in the blanks in my own product. And that's how I create my products very, very quickly because I'm not having to recreate every single page from scratch over and over again. I just create it once and then copy it over and over again. And you can also use stock photos inside your product, which will also help you help to make them look much more professional. So I have developed a unique four step framework to help you create your first info product in just three hours using free, easy to use tools, even have students using it in less than 30 days. So here is my unique four step fill in the blanks, profitable info product process. So step one is your purposeful master plan. Step two is your product creation. Step three is your profitable promotion. And step four is to provide support. So just creating a product isn't enough because you do actually want to sell your products once you've created it. So we have to plan a product that's actually going to sell. We have to create the product. We have to promote the product and provide support to your students. So let's look at each one of these steps in a bit more detail now. Purposeful master plan, step number one. So the secret to creating a profitable product is to put a little bit of thought into what it's going to look like before you start creating it. And most people just start creating a product without any pre-planning whatsoever. And it ends up costing them so much time and money because they don't end up making any money from their course. They just didn't create a product that anyone actually wanted. And I'm going to help you avoid this by taking you through my essential purposeful master plan. So whatever you do, don't skip this stage as this is where the gold lies. And this is where I share all of the secrets to creating a profitable product with you, such as how to plan your product stack, the type of product that's right for you, the topic that's going to make you money to stand out from the crowd, outlining your product and the essential do's and don'ts of creating your product, how to structure your products in the way that your students can get the best results, pricing your products to maximize your product and creating high converting sales pages. So step number two is product creation. And you don't have to worry about creating your info product because I walk you through the entire process step by step. And it's as easy as painting by numbers. All the tech that I'm going to walk you through is free. So you don't have to worry about any additional costs from creating your products. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your professional product images in minutes. So you never need to worry about hiring a designer, creating all of your product assets that you could possibly need, such as slide decks, video presentations, audio, workbooks, checklists, PDFs, and bonuses. And once you create your product in less than three hours, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to add it to a secure membership for your paying customers and take payments automatically using an inbuilt online shopping cart. And I'm even showing you how to create a professional sales page that showcases all of the benefits of your products and encourages people to buy straight away. Step number three is profitable promotion. And my support doesn't stop when you've created your profitable product. I will actually show you how to make sales straight away using free organic marketing methods. And I help you find your first group of students in just days and start receiving testimonials from people who are blown away by the results that they are getting from your product. So much so that they actually help you find more customers. Doesn't that sound amazing? And as this is a complete solution, I even show you how to improve your results in the future 
by making more money from what you've already created with a few simple tweaks. Step number four is to provide support. And just as my own support doesn't end the second you buy my product, neither should your support for your students. And I show you exactly why you should support your students after they've bought your product and how to do it using free tools that will blow them away. And I even share my secrets to blowing my customers away after they've bought so they become fans for life and are queuing up to buy the next product that I create. So fascinating stuff, wouldn't you say? Now, let me ask you this. If there was a way to create a 100K product in less than three hours using free, easy to use tools and even have students using it in less than 30 days, even if you don't have an audience, any idea, any team and are terrified of tech, would you take it? Because now you can. And what if I told you there was a breathtakingly easy way to create a new product and start making money within 30 days? That you don't even need an audience, you don't need an idea, you don't need a team, you don't need any tech skills. That all it takes to create your own profitable product is to have a little faith. And that those who have the faith and take the leap are rewarded by being paid on autopilot for work that they've already done. And today I want to share the same benefits for you. Today I want you to make six figures or more creating digital products. I want you to be free to work when you like and get paid on autopilot. I want you to get highly compensated for doing work that you love helping people to solve their problems. And I'd like to introduce you to my signature course called Dream Business Product. Dream Business Product helps coaches, creators, authors, teachers, speakers, and spiritually minded online entrepreneurs create a six figure digital product in 30 days. Even if you don't have an audience, an idea, a team, and are terrified of tech using my proven four step fill in the blanks, profitable info product process. So it helps you create a 100K product in less than three hours. It helps you to have your product available to buy within 30 days. It helps you to create a business you love on your terms while you get paid on autopilot without the need to already have an audience, without the need to spend any money on tools or ads, without the need to have any tech skills in as little as 30 days. Even if you don't have an idea for a product, you've never sold anything in your life, and you're totally terrified of all things tech. So the results, I just wanted to share this comment that one of my students made with me. And he said, Pedro said, before I started the course, I had a few products launched and a few other business ideas, but I could never have them properly marketed. And now I've taken the course, I think everything is possible. If I have a new idea for a product, I know exactly what steps to take to turn it into a successful business and create the passive income I need. My favorite lesson was how to communicate my value proposition to my potential users and funnel them into buyers. And I'm really excited to implement the product stack into my business. So what do you get inside the dream business product? You get 30 dream business product training videos valued at $1,997, over 20 hours of content in total. And you can binge watch these videos Netflix style and go back and watch them one more time to do the powerful life-changing exercises. You will get 30 dream business product MP3 audios valued at $497. And you can download the audio vid version of the videos onto your phone and listen to them on the move. You will get 30 dream business product slides valued at $97. You can download the slides with all of the details that you need so that you can refer to the information on the videos at a later date. You will get the dream business product course checklist valued at $27. And this checklist helps you increase the dopamine in your brain by achieving the exercises in this course. You will also get the dream business product workbook valued at $97. And this workbook helps you work through the transformative exercises in this course. And the magic happens when you do the work and tap into your own belief system and transform it. And that's not all. You also get these fantastic 
bonuses. And almost all of these bonuses are products in their own right. I have and I still do sell them individually. They are not fluff to beef up the course. They are actual products and they will get you transformative results if you give them the focus they require. And I am very proud of every single one of these products and have received glowing testimonials for all of them. And each of these products that I'm giving away as bonuses also comes with its own unique set of bonuses. And there are just too many to list here, but just know that you are going to be overjoyed when you see how much extra value I've given you in this course above and beyond what you expected. You are going to get the Manifest Your Dream launch course valued at $147. And this is the complete system for manifesting the launch of your dreams with ease and confidence in 30 days, including 30 videos, workbook and checklist. And that also includes so many bonuses that I don't have time to go over now. You will also get the Manifest Business Success Challenge valued at $197 and you will discover how to manifest 7K in seven days, even if you haven't started your business yet without vision boards, meditation or time consuming morning routines. And this is all of the video content from my live challenge. You will also get all of my dream business product templates, scripts, swipe files, spreadsheets and documents valued at $497 and I am giving you literally every resource that I personally use to create my profitable products fast and effectively. And this plug and play system takes all of the guesswork out of creating a product and makes it super easy and fun. You are also going to get my 100K product creation masterclass, this masterclass right now, valued at $77. You are also getting my time expander training valued at $33, which is an 80 minute training to help you become more time rich by manipulating your perception of time. Game all the time in the world to achieve your goals and includes audios and affirmations to reprogram your brain, checklist, workbook and cheat sheet to keep you on track. You will also get my stamp goals book valued at $12.99. Put your stamp on the world in 30 days and finally achieve your goals. And this book could be a course selling for thousands of dollars. You just do one activity every day to transform your business and it comes with its own massive bonus bundle. You will also get this brand new bonus called Work Less to Win Personalized Sales Page Review. And if you get the course finished, you get your product created and you get your sales page created and published within 30 days or less of buying the course, I will create a personalized video walkthrough reviewing your sales page and helping you to make tweaks that will make you a lot more money. And I really want you to get results from this program. Money loves speed. So this is my incentive for you to take fast action, to get your product out there and start making money. You will also get access to our members only community and associated app valued at $97. You will also get a VIP coupon code for 30% off your next purchase with me. You are also going to get full support in the form of group coaching valued at $997. And I am going to be answering any questions that you have while you're going through the course. For any in-depth question, I will create a personalized video response for you. So just to recap what you're going to get, you're going to get the 30 videos, the 30 audios, the 30 slides, the checklist, the workbook, the manifest your dream launch course, manifest business success challenge, the dream business product template scripts, swipe files, spreadsheets and documents, 100K product creation masterclass, the time expander training, the stamp goals book, the access to our members only community and app, the VIP coupon code for 30% off your next purchase, the work less to win personalized sales page review and the group coaching. And the total value of this entire course is a whopping $7,399. So the total value of this entire course is $7,399. So let me ask you a question. 
How would you feel waking up to a brand new day, excited to get to work because you're confident in yourself, you know exactly what you want from your business, you're helping customers get exactly what they want and you are being highly compensated for it. There is no better way to live your life than to run your business on your terms, get the results you want and still have time to enjoy a balanced life. So how much is that worth to you? how much would you pay for a business like this? So my guarantee is I can't guarantee specific results, but I can tell you that people are raving about this course. As I'm so confident that you are going to love this program and get fantastic results, I am giving you a money back guarantee. If you feel like the course isn't right for you, please email me at support at kathkyle.com within 14 days for a full refund. So the total value of this entire course is $7,399. But the price of Dream Business product is just a fraction of this amount. So check the sales page for today's price. I'm not going to put today's price on the video because my prices are constantly rising. And if you're already on the sales page, scroll down to the bottom to check the price. And if you're listening to this masterclass somewhere else, go to kathkyle.com forward slash product to get today's price. And I can tell you this though, when you see the price that I'm charging for this product, you are going to be very happy. This course is worth more than 10 times the amount of money that I'm actually charging for it. And if you feel called to start manifesting your results from within, now is the time to get started. However, there is a deadline for this fantastic offer. When the timer on this page gets to zero, the page will disappear. And at the end of this launch, I'm also putting my price up. So next time you see this product available, the price will be higher. So make sure you grab this low price while it's still available. All this product did was help you create your first product or help you to make your first sale or give you the confidence to show up for your business or finally allow you to work on autopilot, working hours that you choose and getting paid when you're not at work. Would you agree that this price is a tiny price to pay? It's almost insignificant really. You can decide to do nothing and keep on telling people that you have an idea for a product, but you haven't finished it yet. But we both know that if it was going to work for you, it would have by now. You can try to implement my dream business product framework on your own and it might work. Actually, it will work better than what you have been doing, but something tells me that better isn't good enough or you can get everything included in dream business product that gets you creating a 100k product in less than three hours using free easy to use tools and even have students using it in less than 30 days even if you don't have an audience an idea a team or you're terrified of tech without the need to spend any money on tools or paid ads without the need to have any tech skills even if you've never sold anything in your life so that you can create a business that works on autopilot, allowing you to have time off when you choose to and helping many people in the process in as little as 30 days. The choice is yours. Finally, I did have some questions that I wanted to go over, but I am going to put these on the page kathkyle.com forward slash product instead of answering them now because I don't want to take up any more of your time, but the answers to the following questions are on that page. So go and check them out over there. So I don't have an idea for a product, will this help me? I don't have an audience, will this still work for me? There are so many courses out there that have already covered my idea, how can I be unique? Will I get any extra support as part of this program? What makes your program better than all the others out there? How is this worth the investment? Will this work for my niche or my topic? Will I still be able to get this course at this price again? Do I need to become certified before I start teaching online? Once I buy this course, is there anything else that I need to buy to get results? What happens after I buy? So go over to that page and you will find all of the answers to all of those questions. But if you have any more questions, please let me know by emailing support at kathkyle.com and we will get back to you within one business day. And just to say thank you for staying until the end, I am giving you a $100 off the price of Dream Business product, which means a massive saving. So just enter the coupon code 100 off DBP Dream Business product 
at the checkout to get $100 off the total price. So the coupon code is 100 off DBP. Head over to kathkyle.com forward slash product to get immediate access and you get instant access to the product. Start using it within the next 60 seconds and start seeing results immediately. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.